Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Short story time. I have a friend. Friend fall down the stairs and broke his uh, toe because it was dark. The story's over. Now, the friend's okay, the toe healed up, but I got me thinking, hmm, maybe I should do something about it because it's quite dark in there sometimes. And then Banggood.com has reached out to me and asked me if I want to do something in partnership with them. So I figured out, hmm, maybe the LED RGB lighting system for staircase would be a fun idea. And this is this project. This project is going to be split into three parts. This video is all about the design. Second video is going to be about the hardware and the third video we're going to cover the software. So I guess so let's go and see the very dangerous stairs. Welcome to the staircase of doom. Okay, it's not a staircase of doom, it's just a typical British staircase covered with a carpet that you can probably trip over very easily. Uh, on top of that, we have some lights in here and you can see they're doing quite a good job right now. However, I've changed the bulbs into uh, energy saving bulbs and they take a moment uh, to lit up the place. And for most of the time, it's just quicker to run down the stairs than wait for the lights to, to turn on and illuminate everything. So I was thinking maybe we should add LED lights on this wall. Now, why on this wall? Because there is a power socket at the bottom, which I could use. And then we could run some sort of trunking along the skirting board in here to, to make it nice and nearly invisible. Uh, there would be a one a motion sensor at the top and the motion sensor at the bottom to trigger the lights both ways and uh, I was thinking maybe add two LED lights per each step so one at the edge of the um, edge of the step and one halfway to and through and that should provide enough illumination for every single step so uh, let's go and take a look what we're gonna need for this to complete the design we're going to need 26 LED strips they individually addressable Arduino Nano to drive it, two motion sensors to detect our movement, a power supply to drive it all, and two meters of 25 by 16 trunking. I've created 3D mockup of what I'm going to do. At the bottom you can see the motion sensor and then there is a trunking with LEDs embedded inside. It's gonna stretch all the way to the top where you can find another motion sensor. The design part of this project is complete now. In the next video we're going to focus on hardware. So I'll show you how to connect the LEDs, how to connect it to Arduino, how to create the necessary hardware to make it work. Now thank you so much for watching and thank you to Banggood for sponsoring this build. I appreciate it a lot. If you want to know more information about this project, uh, in the description of this video you'll find a um, link to my website where I shared more information about this build itself that links to the components as well. So uh, go and check it out. I appreciate, you, I appreciate you following me on social media if you want to be notified about the next stage of this project. I also have a Patreon account if you feel like supporting me directly. So I guess that's it for this video and I'm gonna see you in the next one. So take care for now, bye.